Okay, guys. So that's this is one of my recent favorite questions I encountered in lunch time. This is checkpoints. So this is not a very tough problem, but uh, it's a combination of very small, very good problems. Uh, like these are some concepts that we'll encounter throughout solving this problem, and some of these are very good. Okay, so let's get down to the question. Chef is in points in a 2D Cartesian coordinate system. For each valid i, he has x i comma y i. He can do a move where c is given to us. He can move the point from x i comma y i to x i plus c comma y i plus c or x i minus c comma y i minus c. We have in the end we have to select some checkpoints, a minimum number of checkpoints that we have to select so that after our moves that we do, that is plus c or minus c to both the ordinate and the abscess, uh, we send each of these points into uh, the checkpoints and uh, in order to send us the moves that we have to do in order to send these points to the minimum check to the minimum number of desired checkpoints the minimum number of moves have also to are also to be used so firstly we have to minimize the number of checkpoints that we have to use and then after we have selected those checkpoints we have to minimize the number of moves that we have to do so the first priority is minimizing the number of checkpoints and after we've selected the minimum number of checkpoints we have to choose those checkpoints in place such that the moves we required are minimum okay so this is the example test case that we are drawing over here so this is 1 comma 1 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 2 and as you can see and c is given to us as 1 and as you can see that uh, this the distances are 2 and 2 for the abscess and the ordinate and uh, for these two values uh, 3 comma 2 can be pushed into 1 comma 0 by applying the move two times subtracting 1 comma 1 from both it becomes over 2 comma 1 and then we moved, apply the move again and we have 1 comma 0. So the minimum number of, uh, if, we, if, we, if we select two checkpoints, one at 1 comma 1 and one at 1 comma 0, because these are the two diagonals, this, this move is a diagonal move. So the, like, the diagonal remains the same if, if I apply this move. So if I select two checkpoints, uh, what is the minimum number of moves that I have to do? So from hit and trial, I can see that if, let's say, suppose I choose a checkpoint 1 comma 1 and the second checkpoint I use at 1 comma 0, then the minimum number of moves that I have to do is 2 moves. So the answer that I should output is 2 comma 2, and then 2 is the minimum number of checkpoints and 2 is the minimum number of moves. And uh, let's check, yes, so it's 2 comma 2. Okay, so um, let's get down on to why, uh, how, do, how to go about calculating this answer. And uh, let's see. So firstly, uh, the first sub problem that we break this problem down is to of all these, we identify these moves as diagonal moves. Okay. If we select a point x i comma y i, it will go to x i plus c comma y i plus c or x i minus c to y i minus c. Okay. So the, these are all diagonal moves. So x i comma y i, uh, the 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 diagonal that this currently we have the point that is present in will not change the slope of this line uh, x i comma y i to x i plus c comma y i plus c will always be one and how can i say that because you can check out the difference difference between the ordinate and the abscissa points so it, in the first case it's after no moves it's y i minus x i after the move it's also y i minus x i so the, here comes our identification scheme Firstly, in order to solve this point of uh, this problem, this sub problem of deciding the minimum number of checkpoints, it's at least equal to the number of point, different diagonals that each point is present into. And that is why we have to firstly design a scheme in order to identify which of the diagonals each point is present in. How many different number of diagonals are these points part of? So these are given n points. Then for we will calculate y minus x for each of the points and for all the values that y minus x is same these points uh, lie on the same diagonal on the same diagonal okay so for all the points where y minus x value is same these points lie on the same diagonal okay so the uh, let's let's talk about why this is the case why y minus x i is the same or uh, after a uh, move Okay, so let's let's take an example over here. Okay, so this is a check chess board. Uh, I remember this code for this problem in Gagari and Bishops. This was also used. Uh, this this concept was also used to solve that same problem. So, for example, suppose let's we have a, let's say we are at the point two comma zero, and we take a diagonal move, 
and we go to 3 comma 2. So we took plus 1 step on the abscissa and plus 1 step on the ordinate as well. That is why the difference between those two remain the same. Plus 1 on the abscissa and plus 1 on the ordinate. 2 comma 0, 0 went to 1, 2 comma 2 went to 3. Hence why, henceforth, uh, the difference between them was firstly 2 minus 0, 2. And then also afterwards, after that move, it was 3 minus 1, 2. Here, of course, we have c equal to 1, but c can be, in our problem, the c is, uh, you know, variable. c is given to us. So, it's just like, you know, it can move on the diagonal, but it can move only to specific parts of the diagonal. So, the minimum number of, and let's say, let's talk about if this was the diagonal that we had to do, plus c and minus c. So, x, so then the sum of the two values of abscissa and ordinate, they will be same in order to identify the points which are on the same diagonals. Okay, but this is not the currently the moves, the kind of moves that we are encountering. This is the kind of moves I am talking about xi plus c, comma y minus c or xi minus c, comma y plus c. Such that the sum of values of xi and yi after each move is also the same for the same point. So now we have calculated the number of moves that we have, that we have calculated the, we, we know uh, like the, the lower bound on the number of checkpoints that we are allowed. Since all the moves are diagonal moves, we need at least the number of diagonal moves. Uh, at least since all the points like so, we need at least at least the number of diagonals that we have of these endpoints. Uh, like the number of diagonals that these endpoints lie on, our checkpoints have to be at least that. It's not the that the answer, but it's at least that. So what what else influences the number of checkpoints? Let's talk about that. We are talking about only this first sub problem that we have currently and that is to decide the minimum number of checkpoints. So, let's let's expand on one diagonal, okay? Let's expand only on one diagonal. So, if we are given, if, if we are identifying and like, let's flatten it out. Let's paint it on, let's only look at the x-axis of it. So, if we have this number line and uh, let's, let's take an example of when c equals, let's say 2. So, uh, if a point is at 0, if uh, 2, then it will go at 0 and if it's at 0, it can go at minus 2 and it's uh, vice versa, it's reversible and if it's at 2, it's, it can go on 4. So, if it's at any of one of those points, it can go, if it's on minus 2, it can go on 0, 2, 4 and similarly, minus 1 can go on 1, 3. So, even stays on even and odd stays on odd. So, this is like this is one thing that we noticed. This is from observation. This is one observation that we did. So, and this is one observation that you can do when you encounter this question in under contest. So, so why is that? So, the modulus is, uh, the, the claim is that, you know, uh, a move consists of, if suppose we make k moves, okay. So, our next coordinate transfer will be xi plus kc and yi plus kc. So, if I take the modulus of xi mod c and yi mod c, uh, apart from the values of yi minus xi, the only not, not only that will change, not, that will not change, but also the moduluses will also remain the same. Let's see how. How will the modulus remain the same? So, if we, if we take xi plus kc and yi plus kc mod c, we will get the values of xi mod c and yi mod c. Which is which, which was the original one in our case. So no matter how many moves you do, one thing you can't change is the diagonal. And the second thing that we've just discovered right now that you can't change is the value of the modulus c's. This will all remain the same. Now we can get we have we've started to we have we know enough for us to decide what is the minimum number of checkpoints that is required for us in order to you know send all these points into checkpoints the minimum number of checkpoints that is we have only solved the first sub problem and that is the minimum number of checkpoints so what is that how let's talk about let's talk about how many checkpoints now we require so our two main observations is each move cannot change the diagonal so it has to be at least the number of diagonals and on each one diagonal the value of modulus of the axis or the ordinate both you can take any one if you want but you can you have to take only one but you can take only one you know to in order to observe whether this value is same or not of all the points lying on the same diagonal you have to check out the various values of its moduluses with c's 
and those different number of values will be the minimum number of checkpoints that you need summed throughout the various diagonals. So how many checkpoints? All different values of xi mod c for all same values of y minus xi lying on the same diagonal and that is our So how will we calculate this? Firstly identify points on the same diagonal. This is the first step. How do we do that? We can make a hash map for y minus xi storing the different points of store every xi comma yi on its hash map of value y minus xi. You can use an unordered map of a long long and a vector to do that. Uh, second problem, the second thing that we have to do is of all the points lying on the same diagonal, identify the number of different modulus values with c's on each of these diagonals. Now you can do this with any one coordinate. You don't have to do it with both of these coordinates. You can just do it with one coordinate and you will get the answer. So these are the two things that we can do in order for us to calculate the minimum number of checkpoints. So we can, but right now we have only discussed the minimum number of checkpoints. We have not discussed how are we going to minimize the number of moves that we have to do. Okay. So these are the number of checkpoints. So in order to, for us to see what the minimum number of moves required is, we have to learn another one of the concepts uh, right now. So yeah, so let's see for, first of all, let's see from this example, uh, these are the three diagonals. We need at least these many checkpoints. Suppose there's only one point on first diagonal, so we only need one. See so these, this is the same modulus values of C on the second diagonal, but different modulus values of C on the third diagonal. Uh, this is sort of a visual representation of how, you know, different. So we need first checkpoints, one checkpoint on the first diagonal, one checkpoint on the second diagonal, because the modulus values of C's are same, and two mm, checkpoints on the third diagonal because the modulus values are different. These are the different modulus values. And this is a visual representation of why they won't end up on the same place. Okay, so this was it. And now we finally have a concrete picture of how are we are going to calculate the number of minimum number of checkpoints required. Now move on to the sub problem two. And that is the minimum number of checkpoints that we need. And the minimum number of moves that we have to do in order to send to these minimum number of checkpoints. So we have to firstly, what decides a move, we have to decide a point X where to send all of the, you know, all of the points in order to in, in one checkpoint where we have to place this checkpoint. Firstly, let's solve this sub problem. There's a concept involved in this. Let's suppose C equals one. And these are the four points I have and uh, on the number line. And uh, this is a flattened out diagonal. Let's solve this sub problem. So what I want you to do is, what, what we're trying to figure out is we have to minimize we, we're given with four points and uh, uh, we're solving this sub problem instead. What we're doing is we have to find the minimum dis value of uh, absolute value. Some the summation of absolute value of a i minus x where a, a one is one, a two is three, a three is five, a four is a four is seven. So I have to choose such an x such that after choosing this x, the absolute values of a i minus x summation is minimized. So the answer to this is the x is the median of R a. So why is this? Like, uh, uh, there is there is a there is a like very concrete mathematical proof on why this should be in a median value. But uh, let's let's see. Let's look at it at in a graphical way. Suppose uh, we select our point just uh, on the left of the leftmost point that is one. Okay. We can see at the summation of absolutes of a minus x as the distance traveled by each point to x. Okay, let's suppose this is epsilon over here. So one travels zero distance, three travels two distance to one, uh, five travels four distance to one, seven travels six distance to one. So let's say that uh, this summation of each points, the distance each point takes to travel to one is a. Okay. So absolute of one minus one is plus absolute of three minus one plus absolute of five minus one plus absolute of seven minus one. Summation of absolute a i minus one is equal to a. This is let's assume this. Now we have to calculate. Suppose we take this value as x, and this is x silent on towards of the left of x. So each point has to travel x silent distance more. So this value will be x silent plus four x silent. Four points. Each point travels. Firstly, it was stopping at one, but now it stops at x. So it has to travel x silent distance more. 
let's talk about the second x2 that we choose just epsilon to the right of 1 so let's calculate this value so we were given the value of a of summation of epsilon of ai minus 1 when we chose 1 as point but now let's talk about 1 1 has 1 was traveling zero distance when uh, uh, like 1 was selected so now it has to select plus epsilon distance more but all the other three points are to the right of it they have to travel epsilon distance less firstly they were going to 1 but now they have to stop epsilon distance uh, before going to one, reaching 1 so it's a minus 3 epsilon plus epsilon which is a plus 2 epsilon a minus 2 epsilon so the distance actually reduced and when we go towards the left the distance was increasing but uh, when we go to the right the distance decreased and uh, it will keep on de decreasing until we reach the median and that is 3 and 5 in this case because the number of points are even so this is a nice intuition on how we got this we got to this uh, uh, like lemma of uh, the minim minimization of summation of absolute values of ai minus x it will be minimized when x is the median of the array and uh, we got a nice graphical intuition of why that should be the case when we try to see the summation of absolute of ai minus x as the sum of the distances traveled by each point uh, each, each person standing at ai to reach to the point x okay so this was this this is something that we are going to use in in calculating the minimum number of moves so now let's let's talk about the same diagonal and the same modulo points so if we're in a diagonal and we have the same modulo points then how these all these points are c so they're all reachable towards each other we'll use the term reachable because they can reach we're only looking at one one coordinate right now and um, they, are, they, are, they, they have to be sent on the same checkpoints according to our answer for the minimum checkpoints so in order to for us to select which should be the location it should be the median one the median one uh, the middle one of these should be the place where i select my checkpoint to be and uh, the reason for this is that the subproblem that we solved right now is quite similar to the problem that is asked to us right now instead of calculating absolute of ai minus x this is the RAA of all the points uh, summation of absolute of ai minus x we have to calculate summation of absolute of ai minus x divided by c <coughs> this is this is the thing that we have to minimize because that is the sum of the moves of all these points that we have to do in order to send all these points to the desired checkpoint and all of these points have to go to the same checkpoint because they have the same modulus that is how we created the algorithm so each move because each move is c each jump uh, is a change in c in the coordinate system so uh, and all are reachable so all absolute of ai minus x will be a multiple of c so we don't have to worry about like no, uh, the different uh, fractional values and uh, they're, they're all multiple of c's and this is the minimum number of moves that we'll have to do in order to send all these points so let's conclude and let's see how are we going to uh, uh, calculate the answer from the beginning firstly separate out uh, firstly we have to separate out all the points that are lying on the same diagonal separate out points lying on the same diagonal because these are the minimum number of points that are have to be chosen because these are the minimum number of this is the lower bound on the checkpoints that we have to select secondly of those values in the same diagonal we have to select the very different values of moduluses of c's of e one of the coordinates we don't have to watch both but we can select only one of the coordinates okay so this is one of the values uh, this is uh, in combining these two we'll get the minimum number of checkpoints these are the minimum number of checkpoints that we need and third is of all these points which have the same which lie on the same diagonal and which are on have the same values of modulus of c's we need only one checkpoint to send all of these points because these are reachable to e each other in one move so we need only one checkpoint because they're reachable to one another and that point is the best point so that uh, it minimizes the number of moves and that has to be the median so the best place to put it is the median because it minimizes the number of moves which was characterized by the summation of absolute of ai minus x divided by c and uh, yes so this is the value and uh, yeah 
so this this will give us uh, we'll uh, we'll use the m for each diagonal as summation of absolute of xi minus x median divided by c so we'll calculate this value and uh, this value will be the summation of all these values which are reachable to uh, all these points which are reachable to each other we'll get the total number of checkpoints we will have the total number of moves if we uh, sum it for all the points lying on the same diagonal and having the same modulus values and yes so yeah that's it and it was a very very good question and um, okay so in the uh, this was this this was like a combination of very easy good problems and um, so it can be tedious to implement this uh, let's it will be in o, n o big of n log n and uh, for the sorting part mainly because of the sorting part and uh, yes so uh, you can use a hash map in order to show these information so in order to separate out these points with the same modulus c so yeah that that's that's it and uh, yeah thank you uh, let's see you on the different question have a great day.